Here's a statement of the prime number theorem. What I'm going to do is confine myself today mainly to pulling apart what you can see on the screen. So prime numbers are numbers that only have two divisors, the number 1 and the number itself. So the numbers 2, 3, 5, 7 and 11 are prime, but the number 9 is not prime because 9 has three divisors or factors, the numbers 1, 3 and 9. Now primes have fascinated mathematicians and non-mathematicians for thousands of years. Some of the interesting things are to try and find the biggest prime number, trying to prove that there's an infinite number of pairs of prime numbers that are two apart, trying to show that every even number greater than two is the sum of two primes. And there's also been a lot of interest in counting the number of prime numbers up to a certain level. So we say that pi x is equal to the number of primes less than or equal to x. And this gives us the first thing that you need to be careful of. This pi here has got nothing to do with circumferences of circles or 3.14159. I know that this is confusing, but please don't write in the comment section complaining about it. I can't change anything. If you want, write to your National Mathematical Society and see how far you get. So let's have a look at a, a chart or a graph of pi of x versus x. And you can see here how it jumps at 2, it jumps at 3, 5 and 7. And here's another graph of pi of x, but now looking at uh, much larger values of x. OK, let's go back to the slide with the prime number theorem. And the man here is happy because he's explaining what is a beautiful theorem. Then we had him a bit angry because of this confusion about pi x. Pi's got nothing to do with 3.14159 in this case. Now he's unhappy again, the man. And now it's because of the right-hand side. On the right-hand side, we've got x divided by log x. Now, normally in school, we're taught that log x means log to the base 10, and ln x means log to the base e. But invariably, in number theory, log x means log to the base e. So that's something else that you need to be aware of. OK, this little tilde in the middle at a high level means similar. So the prime number theorem is saying that pi x is similar to x divided by log x. So let's talk about that a little bit more. Imagine it's a couple of hundred years ago. You don't have a calculator or a computer. And you're trying to work out a function that approximates pi x. So you might start out with x on 5. And here's what it looks like if you graphed it out to x equals 100. And now with, that's pretty good, but now with computers we can see if we go out to 100,000. It doesn't work very well at all. Might try the square root of x. Is that a good approximation? Well, out to x equals 100, it's pretty good. But once again, when you go out to x equals 100,000, it's not very good at all. So a mathematician stumbled on x divided by log x. And here we can see works pretty well up to x equals 100. And it actually works pretty well up to x equals 100,000. So mathematicians said that they were really looking for a function to approximate pi x in the sense that they want the ratio of the two to get closer and closer to 1 as x gets larger and larger. So now let's look at a graph of pi of x divided by x over log x. And you can see here, as we go out to 100,000, it does seem to be coming down, uh, leveling off, and it does seem to be getting closer to 1, although it's not convincing. However, if we now have a look at this graph off Wikipedia, and if we just concentrate on the top part, you can see that this is the same graph, x div uh, pi of x divided by x over log x. But now it goes out to... Instead of 100,000, it's now going out to 10 to the 24, which is a trillion trillion. And now you can see that it does look like it's getting closer and closer to 1. So the prime number theorem is a proof that, in fact, pi x divided by x over log x approaches 1 as x goes off to infinity. 
We can learn one other thing from the uh, Wikipedia graph. So let's go back to that and you can see that this bottom graph actually seems to be better. And this, instead of using x over log x, this is an integral function, which is generally given the, um, the name lie of x. And you can see it's, it's the area under the curve 1 on log t between x e uh, t equals 2 and t equals x. And that works even better. So that's something that you could explore if you want to go a little bit beyond the prime number theorem.